Hello viewers and today I'm doing a book review um, called The Treasure by Ellen Reed and um, this is the uh, photo that I put up on Instagram. Look at that uh, lovely book cover that Ellen Reed made herself. Okay and um, there's a quote uh, from the book and I might as well read you this out now a feeling of calm always fell over her like a cloak of happiness settling on her shoulders when she entered her father's woods tall trees welcomed her under their canopy offering her protection while a carpet of yellow lesser caledone with their shiny star-like flowers and dark green heart-shaped leaves tickled her ankles as she walked amongst them. Isn't that lovely? Again. Okay, right, well, I will uh, now get on to the book review. The Treasure by Alan Reed. The genre is it's a novelette and it's a young adult's new age fantasy. It's set in the medieval times. What this book is about. We meet Matilda. She hasn't had the best of life. We meet her at the beginning of the story with a wicked stepfather called Oath. Oath is the domineering kind that doesn't know how to be kind. The story picks up when Matilda is 17. And we hear how Matilda acquired a bad leg how her real father died and what happened to her mother. To top it all off, Ove has an 18-year-old son whom Matilda secretly named Peacock. Peacock was as useless as Ove and both Ove and Peacock left Ethel, the cook, to play mum to Matilda. Oaf and Peacock spent much time in the dungeon. The rest of the staff were treated like slaves. Beatings and cruelty to anyone who didn't toe the line. Even Matilda didn't come unscathed during the years. Feathers and wax were the obsession in the dungeon, as Peacock wanted to fly, but to fly where to? And how was he going to make such a contraption? Matilda had a little escaping place that the oaf and the peacock knew nothing about, but not only that, she fell upon some treasure. The path leading to where? Left, right, or off the curb with a thud? My thoughts on this book. I am Ellen Reed's ARC reader, reviewer and supporter. And we have a bit of a surprise when we open this book. A lovely illustration that sits beautifully with it. A bit of a plot twist. Ellen's wittiness and her ability to have the knack to show what greed and cruelty is, yet ending with love, peace and hope. Just the right balance. It also has a very favourable end. I can't tell you what my favourite part of this book was, due to giving too much of the book away. 
Ellen Reid explains before the story begins what inspired her to write this. Her general interest in Greek mythology played a major role and a poem she had written merging them both together. I have found a new word, clalentine, at least that's how I hope you say it. It's a common plant of the buttercup family which produces yellow flowers in the early spring. And yes, I did Google that. <laughs> so just to recap briefly, the main character, Matilda, has gone through terrible hardship, badly treated by her stepfather, a, phys a physical ailment that has made her walking tricky but with most characters like this, they fall upon a golden treasure trove, bringing love, peace and joy. Rating system. I rated this book five stars. Recommendation. This book comes highly recommended by me and would suit anyone interested in young adult or new adult fantasy fiction, anyone who is into Greek mythology, anyone who likes novelettes, which are longer than a short story but shorter than a novella, anyone who likes strong characters, particularly females, anyone who likes medieval times, and anyone who likes secret gardens. And anyone who wants a positive message in their story. Now this is a free novelette that can be downloaded on Ellen Reed's website. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I will leave her website link in the bottom uh, in the description box so that you can go and have a look at it it's in her website is a free short story so again it's a lovely uh, little book to read and it's free um, so yes go have a look well, that's it from me today, so um, don't forget, if you're watching this from YouTube, to like, subscribe, please subscribe to my channel, then you can see um, what other things that I produce during the, the year in your inbox. Um, and don't forget to comment if you like something or want to know something, let me know. So yes, um, yeah, have a good day. Bye.